what's going on YouTube Halo here with another Total War Warhammer 2 1v1 matchup so today we're gonna be in the ladder bracket uh, we are gonna be rocking some chaos versus dark elves so let's dive into the compositions alright so for my lord I'm gonna have a sorcerer lord of death on a dragon my front line is gonna be three chaos marauders I'm gonna have a midline of three chaos warriors with great weapons I will have a hell cannon to support and then summoners of rage the regiment of renowned dragon ogres in the back line out on the flanks over here, I'm going to have a Marauder Horse Masters, two of them. And then on this side, I will have a Marauder Horse Master in the back corner as well as the front right flank. So, for my opponent, the Dark Elves rocking a front line of Bleak Swords with some Dread Spears on the flanks, mid line of Sisters of Slaughter, back line of some Witch Elves, and Malekith on his cold one. He is also going to have four units of Dark Riders with repeater crossbows. Obviously trying to hide out behind the terrain here and catch me off guard. But uh, as you can see, <laughs> that's not quite going to go exactly as planned. So let's jump in. Alright, so for my build here I went with sort of like a de defensive formation. Forced the Dark Elves to come to me. I was kind of expecting Dark Riders with repeater crossbows. Maybe some of the... Um, what are they called? Those Doomfire Warlocks. So I brought four Marauder Horse Masters just to kind of out skirmish the skirmishing. And uh, you can see here his four are blobbed up right away and I'm trading some shots with my Horse Masters. I'm trying to move my other Horse Masters into position because he has nothing to contest them. So right now I'm just kind of holding them in place. I'm looking to get kind of like a pinch. So I'm going to engage melee mode because Dark Riders with repeater crossbows can't fire while moving where my horse masters can and they're also two speed faster than my horse masters so we can have like an infinite chase of me being able to fire and him not so we're just going to be going straight after him here and on the other side you can see my horse masters coming in from the other flank so that's going to be pretty good for us uh, my sorcerer lord of death is just kind of flying around looking for some good targets here going to get some breath attacks reorient my line just to catch this uh, formation as it's coming my Hell Cannon getting some really, really good shots on the Scissors of Slaughter here, now that they've peaked this hill. So you can see here, I end up catching him in melee. He stops to try and fire, but uh, we're just going to pinch. We get the two units from one side, another unit from another, and then our fourth unit is going to be coming in, and we are going to crush them in melee combat. So that nice pincer move just absolutely shutting down these Dark Riders in the backfield. Meanwhile, our frontline engagement getting prepped, kind of fanning out, getting ready to take this charge. Sorcerer just hanging out in the back here getting some super good shots from the Hell Cannon on it like the Witch Elves and Sisters of Slaughter really good targets so we're just gonna start engaging you can see back here we absolutely annihilated his Dark Riders they get completely sh just crushed shattered um, so we're mopping up that and then back over here we get a really nice breath attack in on this Witch Elf formation he's got another Hell Cannon shot and the Summoners of Rage are gonna be pushing in on Malekith so he doesn't really have anything anymore he has no mobile units so he has nothing to get into the backfield to shut down this hell cannon so it's all going to boil down to this frontline engagement and balance of power is already in my favor at this point i could have kept harassing and chased those dark riders off the field but i figure you know i've got them on the ropes let's come in let's go for those thick juicy rear charges water horse masters have decent melee stats so we're just going to go in and charge the backs and we're just going to completely crush on his infantry so Malekith down here getting beat up by the Summoner's Rage, getting the rear charges in, and you can see his infantry just absolutely crumbling. So we're going to bring the dragon in. Malekith is pretty much unsupported at this point, so the dragon and the Summoner's of Rage are going to totally wrap him up. But uh, yeah, Horse Master is decent in melee combat. You can see they have, um, what's it called, the uh, charge bonus of 30, so it's not the highest. But they have 50 armor and 26 melee attack and defense, 21 weapon strength. So they can hold their own getting rear charges dealing with like chaff infantry. So we're just going to be cycle charging at this point. He's going to have a unit of Dark Riders with the Peter crossbows coming back. And he's going to try casting some spells like Doom Bolt on himself to try and deal with this blob. But at this point he really just doesn't have it. Um, our Horse Masters are just going to charge into melee mode again and hound off these Dark Riders. They have no way to deal with that. But yeah, at this point my opponent pretty much no answers uh, after those dark riders went down and that's gonna be match so yeah definitely a tough fight for my opponent there um, in that case it really came down to build like me having four horse masters and him having four dark riders they just lose 
like he can't deal with these he has no way of shooting them I have a unit to a unit and I can chase them forever and they won't be able to fire and eventually I'll whittle them down because I can fire while moving uh, his front line here scissors of slaughter are a great unit but yeah once he had no support for like the, the armor piercing no ability to get in the back line I could just pile into the front line engagement and this hell cannon got to do its work uncontested my summoners of rage there was nothing really there to take them down and they were just taking malik at the town they're just beating on him but uh yeah this this build ended up being kind of a hard counter to this build so yeah you can see exactly how that went but uh yeah racking up all these kills horse masters an awesome unit really really good uh, you definitely need something to support your dark riders like even if it was just harpies or maybe some of the skirmish cav um, or not skirmish cap, the uh, doomfire warlocks that just could have backed them up and gotten into melee with these guys just hounded them off so you could get your shots but uh yeah all in all really really good match for my build here so yeah that's gonna be it for this one kinda short but just wanted to showcase um, what not to do with dark elves with your repeater crossbows and if you're chaos what you can bring if you're worried about them because your horse masters will destroy them uh, so yeah drop a comment down below let me know what you thought uh, feel free to drop any suggestions if there's anything you'd like to see different uh, maybe a faction I am going to be playing more Tomb Kings just working on some builds with them trying to get some practice in uh, otherwise like subscribe hit the little bell notification YouTube will let you know when I've got some videos coming up but uh, yeah that'll be it for today and have a great rest of your day